in the summer. And now players, some players might be off the table yeah. because they're like, yeah, you know what we were, he was, we were talking about it here, but now we need him. And so, and the other thing is the way the fixtures come before the, the deadline, before the September 1st deadline or August 31st at midnight, I don't even think if I'm a manager, I'm preparing for these fixtures. I've got like a, it's like a Saturday Wednesday type of thing at, at some points, but there is a consistent kind of weekly thing at the beginning, but then it's like, so really the first five games are wolves hosting wolves at Southampton hosting Chelsea uh, at Brighton and hosting Everton. And it looks to be pretty much a weekly affair except for the Everton game, which is like Brighton's on the 27th and then Everton is on the 30th mm -hmm. and that's August 30th. So you have, literally have 24 hours to kind of do anything that needs to be done. I mean, I don't know strategy as far as what or Orta, Orta is thinking, Jesse Marsh is thinking they have to have a plan going into these, these final five weeks to basically be like, these are our guys. This is our short list of, of basically left backs and strikers. Mm -hmm. um, this is who we're going after. This is who we're going to strike a deal for. Or do you approve of these guys? I just think it's going to be real hard to bend a coach's ear, bend the, 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 uh, the manager's ear, or vice versa, outgoings. Hey, we just got the, uh, a $36 million bid for Harrison. Mm-hmm. Oh crap. Well, I'm, you know, I'm preparing for Everton. Like, you know what I mean? Like, is that a deal we can't do or something? You know what I mean? I just think there's going to be a lot of chaos. There's games happening and all of that. This is the, the first, if you look at it, it's not August is a winnable month. So this is a, you know, it's an important month. Fixture deadline. I don't know. What are your thoughts on everything I just said? <laughs> No, it's it's good. I mean, I think uh, with the last two seasons, we've been able to pull out, you know, a, a deadline day transfer. One of them was Rafinha. That was great. The other one was Dan James. Um, I, I think there's still the possibility to do transfers. I I agree. I mean, I agree with you, obviously. That um, I think Orta does. One. Up, I think he it's likes be it. Fast. So, what's that? I think Orta does one. I think that's. I think he likes doing at least one. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He likes doing a deadline day deal. Yeah, it's like an adrenaline junkie or something. Like he just he has yeah, to. He, yeah, he does look yeah. like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I think. No, I do. I, I, I think that we will absolutely do the left back. I think we'll absolutely do a forward player, unless catastrophe happens and we just cannot get the like to get it done for business reasons like the targets just aren't like they're, they're not wanting to come like we see with like the i feel like there's Connor. cash there not just from rafinha i feel like the 49ers i think they want to make a i think they i my i think they got 50 million to spend is that is that out of the world maybe but there's something about it that says they're going to either do one splash signing with a striker Mm -hmm. which it sounds insane because mm -hmm. they need a left back. They do need yeah, yeah, like yeah. A, a $10 million left back, even like a 5 million. They need somebody out there. Yeah. But 10, 10 sounds about right to me. <clears throat> I think they do do a splash signing before this window closes. I Maybe I'm wrong. No, I agree. Um, I agree with you. And if you look at the numbers that have been, again, it's just rumors, but if you look at the numbers that have been out there, we're looking at 30, 31, 32 million, something like that for Charlotte de Quetelara, which has been apparently accepted. Um, and then we're looking, I think the rumor today about Philip Max was like seven or eight. So if you're looking at that, you're you're definitely in the range of 40. So, you know, if you say maybe we have 50 to spend, um, that, that could be, maybe, maybe that's the amount we have all in with wages and stuff considered as well. Um, yeah, I suspect it's going to be somewhere around, around there and they, they need to, you know, they need to spend that much, I think, to get the kind of quality that we need in those two positions more so in the forward position, obviously, and strikers are always going to be more expensive anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless you're, you know, unless you're named Harry Maguire going to Manchester United for whatever reason. So <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah, yeah, give it to them. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm I'm optimistic that we get somebody in. I think Orta is adre- he does look like an adrenaline junkie. He looks like he's yeah, you know, yeah. he's always just dark so girl that you know maybe it's yeah. that whole the the take us home documentary where he was hand wringing yeah. over dan james and he was just like on, <laughs> looked like he was on suicide watch like yeah. it's just like dude <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. um but he does care and very much so yeah. is, and it's a hard you know it's an interesting perspective i saw him interviewed once it's like in the states in North America, you know, in, in the big three leagues, big four leagues, mm-hmm. it's really, it's the teams. Yeah. The teams do a trade. It's done. Or they acquire players. They're a free agent. It's done. It's yeah. two, it's two, two entities with this. It's like the team, the player and the other, agents. and the other, t- the agents, like it's, it's a lot of, it might be another one, you know, four, four or five aspects that have to sign off on this. Yeah. Um, a lot of stars have to align to get yeah. to get a transfer done. So, um, and, and we're doing yeah. a lot of like wheeling and dealing too, like just in terms of the fact, like because we have to. We're not one of these teams that can just go and spend hundreds of millions of pounds on players and not worry about this stuff. Like we have to set up the deals in a way that makes sense, right? For us, in terms of financial fair play rules, the, the cash and cash on hand. Um, you know, what sort of fees are going to be owing to, um, you know, to other teams, like, for example, you know, we have to pay money to, you know, to Ren as part of the transfer of Rafinha out. So, yeah. you know, the structure of the deal allegedly contained some, you know, some things where Barcelona was going to cover the cost of the agent so that we didn't have to and so that we weren't be paying the same Like Those things are really, really There was some bad blood with um, RB Leipzig and adam yeah. there was another player that we didn't pay or something like that but there was yeah. a legitimate reason and he yeah. had to coordinate it they had to bury that hatchet to yeah it's just a uh it's really interesting europe european yeah, football leagues and different leagues i'm sure their tax codes and all this stuff is is factored in yep um how do you grade orta's summer so far let's say he does get the two remaining players and let's say he doesn't, how would you grade it? Yeah. I think before I give the grade, I think I'll just sort of give my explanation for it first. So I, sure. I think that um, he's done a good job getting players for the positions that we needed. Um, we have not managed to get at least who were rumored to be our first choices pretty much at anything. <laughs> So, so, you know, so like we were going after, you know, apparently going after Cody, uh, Cody Gakpo, we ended up getting Louis Sinister. Now Sinister is a good player. No problem. Was Gakpo actually our first choice, you know, sort of for that position? I, I don't, I don't know. The rumors suggest that it was, you know, we've not been able to land, um, you know, Charlotte de Kigalara. Is that or his fault? No, not necessarily. Although, you would wonder why we're going so strong and holding out for a player who apparently wants to go somewhere else. Um, do we have other irons in the fire? It seems like we might, but we don't seem to be pulling the trigger on them either. So, you know, I would say that the, the fact that we ended up getting the positions filled that we needed, you know, sort of augurs well for us. Um, and, and, you know, he would get higher marks for that. The fact that it seems that we've not necessarily been able to land the, the actual players that were our first choice for those positions. Um, if in fact that is true, and I'm, I'm going to go on the premise that it probably is true. Um, at least in some cases that is, you know, obviously a bit of a drag on what he's done. And then, you know, I think we were a little bit over the over a barrel with the sale prices on, um, you know, on Phillips and Rafinha because they both made it very clear they were only interested in going to one place. The lack of competition uh, created by those choices, um, you know, certainly lowered their value. Um, you know, we could have got more for Rafinha if he had chosen to go to Chelsea. He was never going to go there, so we ended up taking less. Um, how much less, I guess, is uh, is something that is being debated. In the online world, you know, is it is it forty? Is it fifty? Is it what are the add-on value? Like we don't know any of this stuff because it's undisclosed. There are lots of rumors floating around. I would suggest that in both cases, we probably didn't get as much as we could. I don't know how much of that is Orta's fault, but he is the guy with the you know in that position. So 
we're going to have to, um, you know, we're going to have to assess him on, on that basis. So I would, um, I would say probably something along a B minus, um, somewhere in that range, because again, we are, that could be revised down if we fail to get the left back and the forward. I mean, that would, that, that B would easily turn into like a C minus if we don't get those critical positions. Um, but right now, so far, I think he's running at a solid B minus based on the fact that we have filled in most of the positions that we need. Yeah, I concur. I was going to sit. My first thought was B minus, um, just because of the depth. Yeah. Um, if he gets these other two players, I'm willing to put them in an A. I mean, yeah. I'll see. I'll raise it to an A plus if, like, I don't know, we're, <laughs> you know, we get we get you know uh, some stud like uh, like a Rafinha level yeah. type of type of quality, where it's uh, another player that we flip for, you know, seventy million plus.